Hello everybody, this is a quick tutorial showing one way of attaching a particle to a uh, script attached to a creature and using an animation event to trigger that magic spell uh, to be cast. So we're going to use a magic spell I got from uh, our magic spells and particles package. This is available on the asset store. Basically includes a whole bunch of prefabs uh, for full spells and components to build your own. Our spell uh, is in the prefabs folder of your SFB Mushroom uh, directory there, and it's called Mushroom Magic. Uh, it's basically three components uh, layered together. The first is the spinning disc around, and then the second one is uh, our smoke rising. This one, if you look at the admission, it's uh, 10 particles per distance, that's per one unit. And so as it moves, then you get rising smoke. That's like a trail of sorts of, of rising smoke. And then the last one is this pulsing circle light in the middle. Uh, without it, the spin just, just doesn't quite look good enough for me. I like uh, this particle to have a little depth to it, and the, um, the spin disc is actually quite flat in the end. Um, so we've saved that as a prefab, and what we're going to do first is uh, create a position at which the particle can be spawned. So our mushroom here, uh, if we go to top view, uh, is facing up, that's the blue arrow, is the Z um, axis, and so we're going to create uh, somewhere over the root, we're going to create a uh, 3D object, a sphere, and I like to use a sphere just because um, that way I can see where I'm putting it. Uh, we're going to just make it really small, move it forward a little bit, and then we will bring it up to somewhere around right there at the base. Uh, we can adjust this later. Uh, and we're also going to remove these components from it now that we're done positioning it. Uh, that way it's just an empty game object and we'll call it magic spawn position. Now I've added a script onto the mushroom demo, this mushroom particle effects. It has two things, a uh, cast spot where the magic spell will be instantiated, the spawn position we just created, and the prefab um, for the magic spell. And one function cast magic. When that happens, we have a new variable, a game object called new spell, is created at uh, cat based on the cast prefab at the position and rotation of the cast spot. And then we want to destroy it in five seconds for the demo purposes. Obviously, in a game, you might not want to do that, but for this purposes, we do. So we're going to call the destroy now in five seconds. Uh, and one other thing we need to make sure we have on the prefab is our magic mover script that's also included basically as a speed uh, I've changed it to four just so you know uh, I did this video once before and forgot to record the audio so I already adjusted that um, uh, and then it moves the particle forward in the sim uh, simple translate vector three forward times time dot delta time uh, times the speed modifier um, so with that added what we're going to do now is go to our mushroom uh, particle effects script and get the cast spot assigned and in our prefabs we're going to put the mushroom magic prefab there as well. Now the other thing we need to do again I've already done this but I'm going to go through the motions again because this time I'm actually recording audio. Um, in the mushroom monster um, uh, uh, model object. This is the, the base one, not the LODs, the actual one with all the animations. You're going to make sure you're on the animation tab and find the uh, animation you want to add an event to. In this case, we're going to add the um, to the attack 2, which if we watch it, is the spinning head one. And what I've done is uh, basically I found at the beginning where he's facing forward again, it's the blue arrow. And I kind of just eyeballed uh, the position right here of forward went through this wade for forward to come back and about right there I decided it was pretty much in the middle and that's where I add the event now to add an event we'll add a new one over here just click the make sure the events whoops, the events tag is down click the add event button cast magic whatever function you have in your scripts there will be an error thrown if you don't have that function and uh, you're all set and don't forget to apply so we're just going to revert uh, that should be it so let's we're going to apply those settings to the prefab for the mushroom demo we'll press play and we'll see what happens
Uh, let's go towards the front here. Stop the rotation, zoom out a little bit, and click the Attack 2 button. Boom, there you go. We'll zoom out a little bit on the, uh, so you can see on the scene view. Attack 2 cast. And there you go. Now you have more logic, obviously, on the, um, on the magic spell for your game. Um, but once you have created it, that's half the battle, so... You can do this with uh, many different characters in many different ways. Um, you may need some more fine tuning for the position. This one's pretty easy to just to guess and get it right. Um, but enjoy. I hope this helped you out, and I hope uh, it helps you uh, make games.